Brendan, you come up to the plate in a big scenario, you go after the first pitch and everything works out for the better. Base hit down the line and win the ball game. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, it was a great opportunity for me to be in that situation and uh, I was just grateful to be in that situation and luckily it hit the base, took a good hop and got down the line for me. You've been swinging very aggressive early in the count and a lot of times coaches preach guys to be able, if they see a good first pitch fastball, to swing at it, and a lot of times first pitch fastballs are the best pitches to hit. What was that pitch that Rotolo threw to you, and were you comfortable swinging at the first pitch like you did? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, all day I was looking for first pitch fastballs. Coach Roberts has been preaching that, you know, jump on it if you get it. Uh, it was a first pitch fastball, and I was able to put a good swing on it, and uh, Coach Roberts has been trying to get us to be more aggressive, you know, try to get some balls in the gaps and stuff like that. So I had my opportunity, and thankful that I Got down the line. In game one, you came up with the bases loaded with one out. In your previous two at bats, the bases loaded, you didn't get the job done. That time you did another big hit to separate this game and get you guys back in it. You swung the bat also very well in this game, as Greg just adhered to. Have you felt like you've been swing, seeing the ball a lot better since yesterday? Because since that YD game, it seems like you've been going up to the plate with a ton of confidence. Yeah, I appreciate that. I mean, I'm seeing it well. Uh, I think we're all just really relaxed in the dugout. We, we haven't been pushing even after the losses, but uh, you know we just come out here, we have fun, we work at it, we work to get better. And uh, I mean, it's just, it shows what Coach Roberts is doing for the team. Over the span of the doubleheader, you went four for eight, two extra base hits, five runs driven in. Do you see yourself right now as the guy who is going to lead this team offensively? Obviously, it's a team effort, but you bat in the leadoff spot both games. YD yesterday, you and I had a chance to talk on the pregame show, and you were really the most comfortable out of anybody yesterday. It's just a matter of getting in a groove and being able to sense what the pitcher is going to throw pretty much every time because you stay consistent with that yesterday at YD, and then today it was just even better. Yeah, you know, it's just you got to stay level. You can't be up when it's good, and you can't be down when it's bad. So I don't see myself as anything special. I mean, we've got a great group of guys. I'm just grateful to be here and be part of it. You guys are back to 500. You got the day off tomorrow. Any plans? Uh, well, so I'm going airsofting with my uh, host brother Daniel, so it's going to be fun. All right, Brendan Hendricks, catch him on the airsoft field tomorrow on the day off. Kettleers win three to two or four to three rather in walk-off fashion against the Brewster Whitecaps. They also win game one seven to four. Brendan Hendricks, Greg Moraz, Brendan Glasheen. Thanks to Mr. Brendan joining us. Thank you.